My name's Vicky and we are currently running a not-for-profit organisation called the Museum of Happiness. My name is Shamash Shaladina. I train people to teach mindfulness and I'm co-founder of this Museum of Happiness. My name is Kieran and um, I work with the Museum of Happiness uh, more on the creative side. Um, so I take uh, Vicky and Shamash's wonderful ideas uh, about how to make people happy and then make that into more of a, a, a physical solution. We wanted to create a platform where people could come together and explore the science and art of happiness in kind of a fun and creative way. And a museum is a great platform for that because I think museums are all about education. They're about learning something new. So learning about happiness which is at the core of our motivation at the core of what we want and when we don't have it then you know things become very very difficult for ourselves so i think that's why it's important to have a museum about it and um, we realized that there wasn't really anything else like that and any other things that explore happiness or different talks and workshops would often come with a with a price tag as well um, so we wanted to put on something that was free financially accessible um, so people can just learn more about happiness you can read about happiness, so there's lots of information, lots of science behind happiness, but there's nowhere you can go and really experience it. Well, today is a whole variety of workshops. Every half an hour we've got a different workshop, and um, when we did a little vote on Facebook to find out what people wanted, a ball pool was very popular, so we got that. Another one was laughter yoga, so we've got a lot of that happening, several of that. We've got Bollywood dancing happening right now. We've had singing classes. We've had a talk about self-compassion by a doctor. We've got colouring in, arts and crafts. We've got a gratitude tree. Um, we've also got a happiness tree, so you can write what you're grateful on and what you're feeling happy for. And we've also got silent disco, which has been really, really popular. So you're just boogieing away with other people and then dancing, obviously, that raises happiness and well-being. It's been absolutely phenomenal. We've been so, so pleasantly surprised with the response and the demand. So we thought we'd get maybe 200 people the whole weekend, and we would have been really happy with that. And actually, we got 6,000 people. <laughs> Why is there so much depression and sadness in the world? What can we do to share about science in a playful, fun way? You know, we're a facilitator of happiness. There are so many people here, um, which has been really inspirational, not just the people coming, but the people that are providing the workshops, that are taking their time, um, and they're here voluntarily, and they're here to give up their time to make other people happy. I think together, we can actually make a massive difference. And this was just an idea a year ago, and now we've got thousands of people coming in, leaving feeling happier than they came in, and some of them I'm sure it's made a massive positive difference and may, may do for a long time ahead.